crazy production. All right, all right. You know, I got you. You know, I I, I think I got something. And, and and we we have we we talked a little bit about an interaction between these two earlier. Um, uh, how about this? So you got Hulk Hogan. He's there. Um, the Rock was a host before. He played a very significant part, which led into other things. Hogan, on your hand, you're like, he's not going to do a match. No. Um, he's back to the, the, the red and yellow. He's back in the WWE. Uh, what can Hulk Hogan do to make some waves? Um, now, we did have an interaction recently with him and, and, and Cesaro in the great interviews like we talked about in the first half. What if Hulk Hogan becomes a real American? Oh, that would be so good. I mean, he's already a real American. He's already the real American. But what if he becomes a real American? With, so uh, he turns we on the people. What if he turns? We the people. What if he turns? What if he, like Sergeant Slaughter's. He Sergeant, remains American. I was reminded of things that Legends of Wrestling. Sergeant Slaughter turned because he loved his country so much he didn't like what it became. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, mm. that, that can also be said for the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> the Ultimate Warrior does not like what's going on right now. I don't think, that. but under, the Ultimate Warrior is not as subtle about what he doesn't like about America. Not subtle subtle about general. anything. And certain lifestyles, as Zeb Coulter does. Um, so he'd fit pretty he'd fit pretty good, wouldn't he? <laughs> he, he would, but I think yeah, you're going to have a okay. Muhammad Hassan moment there if you keep that up. We, the people. <laughs> well, let's see Muhammad Hassan. <laughs> what we're talking about. Wouldn't it be yeah. great to see Muhammad Hassan come back as a real American, too? You know, oh, too bad that shit was Muhammad Hassan. Or Davari. Right. Friend of the show, Davari, please. Why isn't that guy working anywhere? Um, <laughs> anybody else? Mad Mike, you got to have something. Okay. Um, my crazy prediction, Batista wins the world title after Daniel Bryan gets screwed over by corporate man punk. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. you kind of, that, and then that. that is finally what the CM stands for. And Daniel and punk's contract is ending in the summer. Daniel Bryan is the one who kicks punk out of the WWE. Mm. Literally. Literally, huh? <laughs> By kicking him in the head until he huh. quits. <laughs> that got heavy. Oh, I got, God. I got one similar to that. Okay. Daniel Bryan wins. CM Punk comes out. You know, everybody's gonna think it's for you know a a celebratory hug and you know high five and ice cream for everybody and all that stuff. But then he turns and knocks him out with a GTS. Just like the finish Sting off up. WrestleMania? Like yes. like the anti WrestleMania 20? Yes. Setting okay. up for an extreme rules and long feud with. That's Seattle. almost like combining yeah. WrestleMania 20 and WrestleMania 10, where everyone was cheering for Brett. And then Owen was the lone person standing in the aisle looking at his brother. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I just saw that too, so that's kind of what I was going with there. Wow. Wow. Anybody else I like have it? Any... I, I almost like that better, Riz. Does <laughs> anybody welcome. else have have any heavy holy shit you can predictions? Steal that if you want. I mean. <laughs> All right. Let me try this. Curtis Axel and Ryback, new tag team champions. Oh. oh, oh. 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 Reign of Rybaxel. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, I got one. How about El Torito wins the Andre uh, Battle Royal? <laughs> I can see it. He wouldn't be able to carry the trophy. He eliminated Matt. Fandango at the Rumble. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Matt, Matt, I'm sorry, Matt. You had one. All right, let's try this on for size, all right? Brock and the Undertaker coming together, having their match. Something doesn't feel right. Feels a little stiff. Whoa. Heyman's kind of fidgeting on the outside. Whoa. Starts calling Brock over. Brock, what are you doing? Brock, what are you doing? Don't do this. Brock kind of out of nowhere just slows Heyman, knocks him out cold, gets in the ring, puts Undertaker in a Camaro lock, breaks his arm. Huh. Huh. And then, of course, <laughs> I'm not to explain it. 
Hmm. I would, I would love to see. I, I don't think we're gonna get it, but I would love to hear about that, guys. What, what is going on over there? Don't you mind? Um, I would love them to inject some sort of vibe that the Undertaker Brock Lesnar match turns into a shoot. Okay, I think that's the only thing that can make it compelling. But it I'm makes sense. To it, but I, it would really feels interesting. Okay, uh, Jen or Wheels, you got anything? Um, what do you feel about? The main event, since the Shield hates the Authority now, helping Daniel Bryan. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think about that. I can see that. I can see that. New super faction. Since they're sort of good now. Mm-hmm. Believe no. in the beard. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Wills? I went a night earlier, I'm thinking... Say Ultimate Warrior is doing his off good old speech of thanking everybody. Jake sneaks up behind and sticks a viper to his face. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a blindfold match the next night. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh. 